Welcome back guys. In this session, I'm going to show you how we can create this particular star pattern in Java programming. Okay, so first thing what you are going to do is put a box around your pattern and write down how many rows are there and how many columns are there. So here as I can see, there are 9 rows and each row has 9 columns. So first up, let me just write down that number of rows. So I represents rows and J represents columns. So what I will do, I will take one I loop here, integer I, which I want to start from 1, I should be less than or equal to 9 then i plus plus so inside every row like this we have nine different columns okay so i'm going to start a j loop so saying that integer j you have to start from 1 j should be less than or equal to 9 and j plus plus and here uh, i have made a semicolon over here now here inside the j loop i'm going to give an if condition for the j saying that if some if this condition satisfies then only you are going to print star okay or else you are going to print the white spaces so let me just write it here like this like this okay or else if the condition fails then it has to print white space so let me just write it like this yes, y -S -T -A system dot out dot pr int print this white space and every time the j loop ends okay here okay i'm going to change the line s y s t m system dot out dot print ln see guys this time I, i'm adding print ln over here p r i n t x okay now let us come to that j condition okay the conditional statement for j which will print us the star okay now first thing what you are going to do is write down all the j indexes where you want to see the star okay so right now i want to see the star at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so those are the numbers i have written over here okay so when i is equal to 1 j should be greater than or equal to 1 and it should be less than or equal to 9 okay similarly when i is 2 j should be greater than or equal to 2 and it should be less than or equal to 8 like this it should continue until 5 means j should be greater than or equal to 5 and it should be less than or equal to 5 but as soon as i equal to 6 j should again be less than equal to 4 and sorry greater than or equal to 4 and less than or equal to 6 means this number 1 2 3 4 5 it should increment itself until this mid value and then this 5 should get 4, 3, 2, 1. It should start decrementing itself. So, here I have come up with a number saying that j should be greater than or equal to a or and. So, this is and. And j should be less than or equal to b. Okay. And a value, what I will do, I will keep it as uh, 0 at the beginning. Okay. Here, let, let, me, let me initialize a value as 0. Okay. And uh, integer b value as 10 like this so let me come up here in the program and initialize those two values a is 0 and integer b is equal to 10 like this now when the program starts okay when the program starts here i'm going to check if i value is less than 6 if it is 6 then see guys here i want this a value to be 1 2 3 4 and 5 now the i value is less than 6 what it has to do it has to increment the a value okay so i'm going to say here a plus plus okay but here on the right side i want it at 9 8 7 6 and 5 this b value okay so what i'm going to do here i'm going to say as you have included a plus plus you decrement the value of b okay like this close the curly braces and as soon as it has reached 6 means it is going to come to this else part what we have to do we have to start decrementing the value of a here it is 5 then it should become 4 3 2 and 1 so here i am going to say like this a minus minus and then similarly in b we should start incrementing like this now we will get the values of a and b so this is the conditional statement okay 
which we are going to write it in this if condition inside the JLoop. If this condition satisfies, then we are going to see stars get printed, or else we'll get space printed on the screen. Okay, so let me just write over here. Okay, and this is logical and like this. Okay, and this one is small letters. Now let me just run this program. Okay, as you can see, we have got this particular pattern. Okay, but here our next job is to skip one star in between and then again we will print one star then again we will skip one star again we will print one star like this okay for this what i will do see guys here at the beginning i have seen stars in every i loop, I loop. okay so what i will do inside the i loop only i'll initialize a boolean value like this boolean value t when it is true okay when it is true that time you print star okay when this is false that time you print space okay so here in this if condition inside the j loop along with this condition okay i'm going to say that along with this condition you check for this condition also that is and the value of t okay if it is true then you print star okay but what we will do here as soon as we, it has printed star the t value we are going to initialize it to false we will intentionally make this as false so that it comes to the else loop and prints a space for us okay then as soon as it has printed space we will only intentionally make the t value as true okay so that it goes to this condition again this loop again and it prints a star on the screen like this first it will be true it will print star then it will be false here we'll get space then it will be true then here it will be false like this okay and this is the way we are going to skip the in between stars in this particular pattern okay now let me just save this program and let's run it one more time see guys as you can see it is skipping one star in between and then again it is printing one star again skipping one star like that okay so this is how you can do this particular pattern in java programming okay so thank you very much for watching guys i'll see you in the next topics